So a couple of weeks ago, I was at the library looking for a book and I found a book with a similar cover as this picture and I thought why don't I create this in Blender and I did. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this using geometry nodes in Blender version 3.5. So let's get started. So now we are in the Blender version 3.5 and don't worry, uh, this isn't a special kind of Blender, it's just a theme I choose and right ahead we'll just add a plane and I just want you to scale this up to this massive and go to edit mode and subdivide this for the five times. I'm just going to subdivide this by time. And right ahead we'll just go to jump nodes and click on new. So now you get a two node and I just want you to add a triangle each node. I'll explain why we are using triangulate in just a second. And after adding the triangulate node, I just want you to add a dual mesh. Now once you pop this in, you can see our mesh will act like this. And if you want, you can just subdivide this many times. And the reason we are using triangulate because in order for the dual mesh to work, the vertices must be triangular and as you can see we are using the plane and the uh, faces are square so to, in order to make the faces triangle we'll use a triangulate node and now we'll add a X split and add our first modifier and that's called smooth modifier now once you pop this in you can see get a dragon skin kind of thing and looks pretty cool now we need to assure this in that axis so to assure this we'll just go to jump nodes once again and uh, add a uh, assured mesh node assured mesh now once you pop this in you can see it just becomes a block so let's just set the offset, offset scale to point, uh, 0.05. Uh, yeah, this looks good. And we need to scale this, I mean, actually this randomly. So we don't want this to be equal. So to, uh, to select the faces randomly, we just use a color ramp. And plug this color to selection, like that. And we'll add a noise texture and plug the factor to the now when you just start pulling this bar, you can see uh it just starts selecting randomly. And I think this is pretty cool. And if you want you can just decrease the offset scale even further. So there's a 0 0.02 inch like that you can create this kind of thing and let's just add a, another modifier called uh, solidify to make the stick so we'll just move on to lighting and texture so okay, let's just let's do the lighting so I'm just going to render mode and I just want you to enable a certain add-on called twilight so once you enable the add-on just uh, select the you know plane and press shift a go to light and just select three point light and before you do anything i just want you to save the file because sometimes it might crash so i'm just going to save this to desktop and let's just start increasing the base energy as you can see we have our light source and you can just play with the contrast and the distance height like that kind of thing so as you can see we have our three lights and if i just change the height position it just you know moves so i think this is good for now so i'm just going to keep it this way and now for the camera angle so i'm just going to select the camera 
and go to view and under nav navigation just select walk navigation and you can just use the WASD keys to you know, move the viewport and if you press numpad 0 on your keyboard and just go to view navigation and walk navigation just, you can just move the camera to wherever you want the so WASD to move the camera and Q and E to move up and down and just find the good uh, view on your viewport I say this is the good view and place like that now let's just go ahead to uh, texturing so before we texture anything I just want you to go to join to notes and add a, another node called uh, set material so set material and as you can see we haven't created our material so just go to materials and click on new and before when you're clicking click on new uh, make sure the plane is selected and now when you set the material to 011 001 uh, whatever you change you do to that material will be applicable to this plane otherwise it won't be applicable this is the only drawbacks with the injunction so I want you to increase the metallic to all the way up and the roughness to uh, point three. and for the render engine I'll be using cycle now you can see we got a metallic surface once you've done that it's just a matter of you know setting the right samples and rendering, rendering this as an image and if you want to control the you know popping kind of thing you can just go to uh, you know geometry nodes geometry nodes and uh, under noise you can just select the body so once you select that you get the w value so uh when you change the w value it just you know pops differently so you can just keyframe this if you want so i find this is cool but since i'm doing this tutorial i'll be not demonstrating that so that's it launch into that and thanks for watching guys